Hello Yu-Gi-Oh players and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh and Business Casual. I am your host, the RJB Zero. Today I am bringing you my very own super manly, super budget Atlantean deck profile. Not only that, but today is also your chance to win big. That's right, it has been exactly one week and two days since I issued my challenge to you guys, the Atlantean Challenge. What's the Atlantean Challenge, you ask? Well, here's how it works. For anybody who hasn't seen the previous video, which in my infinite knowledge of the future, I predict I will put a link to in the description below. All you have to do to take up my gauntlet and enter into the Atlantean challenge is to subscribe to me first and then to put a little comment down below about how much you want to be entered or whatever. Then, in order to complete the Atlantean challenge, you have until I make my video on Saturday to create a superior Atlantean deck formula that costs under $75. That is the twist. You don't necessarily have to actually build the deck, but if you want to be really awesome and post a video response of it, that'll be super cool and you'll get extra points. But here's all you have to do is make that deck profile, send it to me via PM or by video response if you want to be super awesome, and you will be entered into a random drawing on Friday to win two packs of either Abyss Rising or Cosmo Blazer, your choice. But that isn't even the fun part. That isn't even the challenge, because if you just wanted to throw together something dumb, you could do that, and that will be perfectly fine. That will enter you into that drawing. But the fun part comes here. I will choose five of my favorite Atlantean deck profiles, and that will be based on competitiveness and fun and awesomeness and maybe even WTF factor if I think something's funny enough. I will choose those top five, and I will feature those subscribers and those deck profiles in my video on Saturday, and those players will be entered to win three extra packs of Abyss Rising or Cosmo Blazer. So, go out and make whatever Atlantean deck profile you want, and show me what you guys have got, but it is time for me to show you what I have. So, I originally had what was probably a really smart profile that used, you know, Gen X Undyne and Controller and Allure and stuff like that. And that probably would have been better than this. But then I realized as I was playing, I was just kind of getting bored with it. And I was just playing another Gen X Atlantean deck. And that was just lame. So I created this, which is much more my own playstyle and probably a lot stupider. So first, you start with your Atlanteans. You got two of each. You've got your Dragoons, your Marksmen, and your Infantry. They're kind of central to the deck. They're kind of the whole point. Then, three Deep Sea Diva, because she's like a tour guide, but a tuner, so she's awesome. Then, you have your three Abyss Pike, which is basically your engine for the deck. It allows you to discard your Atlanteans from your hand to search out, well, Atlantean Marksman, but also double Snowman Eater. Why Snowman Eater? Well, because it takes out Logia, for one, and because also it's searchable with Abyss Pike, but more importantly, well, you'll see later. But then... If I had to choose a boss monster for this deck that didn't cost a digzillion dollars, I would choose Dragonize. Because when he's in your hand and your opponent special summons something, then you can go one for one with him by discarding, you know, your infantry or whatever and destroying that monster and then putting this badass guy on the field. And then once he's in the graveyard, you can start plussing on off of him. But that is also why I include two card trooper because that guy can mill this guy and can also mill these guys and can also mill your Atlanteans. Why would I want to do that, you ask? Well, because Snowman Eater and Card Trooper are both targets for Debris Dragon. Why is Debris Dragon so important? Well, she can sync with Card Trooper for uh, Black Rose or she can search with or sync with your Atlantean Infantry for, like, an Orient Dragon or an Iron Chain Dragon, but most importantly, she can synchro with your searchable Snowman Eater for Gungnir. And once you get Gungnir in your hand, you start going for some serious pluses. So two Debris Dragon, you'll see how that works in a minute. Then we have one Effect Veiler and two Maxis, because I didn't have enough money for two of each. Then one Tragodia, I realize that some of these are kind of high rarity, but assume that these are in the lowest rarity possible when you are working on the price. So, then you've got your one of spells, your Monster Reborn, your Heavy, and your Dark Hole, and then you have two MST, and then the most important card in this deck, Triple Salvage. 
Because you mill so much and you get so many monsters in the graveyard and you really need to get them in your hands, you run three salvage because you're always going to have monsters in your graveyard, you're always going to have targets, and once you get monsters in your hand, it turns this guy into a plus, it turns Dragon Ice into a plus, it loads up for your Abyss Pice, and it's awesome. And just in case you run out of all that stuff, you've got a Pot of Avarice. So that works out in your favor, and then just for a little more draw power, you've got some Pot of Duality. Then, you have two Torrential Tributes, and two Bottomless, and your Solemn Twins, in order to protect yourself. My extra deck is very bare bones, but that's because I only had $75 to work with. What you have is, of course, your Gungnir, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, most important monster of the deck, gets you super pluses. Then, a TG Hyper Librarian, because he's, I don't know, he's a boss monster, he's got 2,400 attack points, and you go, can go for him with D.Va. Then, you have a Black Rose Dragon, assume that this is like a secret rare, if you want to go for the low cost, and then you have one Gachi Gachi Gentetsu because you can go for him with D.Va. So that is my Atlantean Challenge deck profile. It costs about seventy-one fifty. I am excited to see what you guys come up with, and as soon as I actually manage to enter my... Whoa, I entered my password the correct way the first time. Anyway, now that I am done with that, I am wishing you guys good luck, and I will see you guys on Saturday. Good luck.